Oh, sorry. No, you can. <laughs> this one needs to be dug out a little bit so that we can make it again. Mm -hmm. What body is that? That's cool. That's the RJ up. Speed okay. 70s Outlaw. Yeah. The old school AX10 body. Yeah. That you can still get. Can you still get it? Yeah. And it's like 25 bucks. Oh, that's not bad at all. Not quite the right size, but. But you chop it up with even the, more, like you wouldn't even. With the cooler mounted on the back, it looks like the Jeeps I will with around yeah. 99, 2000. Everybody was using those. Y'all go to that, uh, hasn't that big RC event happened yet? Where? Crawfest? Crawfest, Crawfest yeah. yeah. First year, it was in the last one. Did you go? Not this year. I've, I didn't go, I haven't been. It's, it's a good time. Yeah. I think there's pretty much that exception to the location. Yeah. Where talk. Crawl Palooza up in Disney, Oklahoma. Uh -huh. They're all trying to go there and next time I like, mean if I go but I want to take my cheek to actually that's like a real big crawl spot you know you got a big foot mark? uh I've been a few times it's been a while since I've been out there I just haven't I'm about to give that Jeep to my son over the summer when he turns 16. okay so I've been trying not to drag it out yeah wheel <laughs> it and crash it I've done Bridgeport a couple times with it crossbar a couple times with it yeah just take side by sides out to cross both ways. Yeah. I never did like wheeling side by sides much. Oh, I love it. That's really. I'm like all. I had a huge, a couple of them, big side by sides for built for mud. Yeah. Yeah, and I still have my ATV that's built for mud. I just haven't been doing it a lot lately. Yeah. The. Uh, I just feel like I never did like the way the side. This I think the side by sides are fun in mud, but. The rocks and the technical stuff, I just, I never could get into. I never liked the way that they handled compared to a real jig yeah. or something. Well, my displeasure with mud is the after mud maintenance. Yeah. Yeah, that's, what yeah, that's the real hard mud. part. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. And when I was showing the mini truck, it's still mud. It just, uh, <laughs> back to it. it used to be like the past, I don't know, over like 2010 to 2020, like, a huge scene around here in Florida that was just the party scene it was unbelievable at the mud bugs. Big mega trucks and stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. There's some down around South East San Antonio area. Yeah. Probably the guy from around there. I'm going to be back and do that. Just, it got to the point where I was like, the money I was spending, or the fun I was having wasn't justifying the money I was spending. Dude, you did that good. Never even hit the place before. That was good. Oh shit. Go ahead. I myself those first couple of calls. That's all right. <laughs> You've never been here before? Yeah. It's a good combination of loose and traction. Yeah. I'm going to play on the last trip out. All that rain got attacked. You put on the dirt. Mm hmm. <laughs> that's not the first time that's happened with like, campers. Like, Who's this dude? Sometimes we'll have like 10 out here and we'll be like, oh shit, that's not me. Is 
This always gets a little tricky. I never done with the rear steer. I just added rear steer to this. Oh, did you now? Yeah. Pretty recently. I love it. Yeah, it's just a whole new world. Finesse in the rooster. That's just this one so much easier. Like everybody, I have that radio too. Yeah. So that made it way easier. Get a Oh yeah. <laughs> it definitely helps. Up front, Especially out here, wheelbase helps so much so out steer, here. Sweet. Yeah, see, once you get one tire on each side of that. Once I leave the freaking rear steer alone, I made yeah. it. <laughs> Sometimes it'll get you in trouble. <laughs> yeah. I start overusing it. towards your left. Yeah, I got out of it too early. I was thinking I was going to climb the wall and flip. There you go. There you right go. there. there you yep, go. there you go. Yeah, a lot of times you're like right, tempted yeah. to let it hook to the right and then that big rock right there will just slide you right off it. Got to swing way out wide to keep yourself aligned with this. Yeah, well, there's not so much a gap, but oh, okay. you see where that left rear drops, and then sometimes it'll take your whole truck with it. Just flip you over backwards, you know? Uh, no, you're gonna back up just a little bit and go far to your driver's side. Yeah, there you go. Turn left. I mean right. By the right. Yep. There you go. Yep. All clear. Thank you. Fun little spot. Mm-hmm. That's a good spot. This is like we're walking down into the main bowl area. Like the giant sinkhole. Sometimes we'll make it this far and spend like a couple hours down there, you know. Yeah. I'm like, all right, guys, there's a whole bunch of park left. Let's keep moving. We've got a park called Rhymer's Ranch, and it's uh, on the Fort Nelson River, and it's popular with the rock climbers. Yeah. We've got a couple of different things. It goes down to the large cave, and you get up a lot of roller uh, overhangs like that. So we have to drive into the cave. Yeah, that's cool, dude. Like, might you even fall on Yeah, so that's neat. We're always falling. It's like, yeah. Uh, Either dislocated my shoulder slightly or you know, rotated a cuff injury. I don't know. It still hurts me. Yeah. 
sidewall thing there, huh? Yeah. Well, you got to get your right rear up on that on that other slab of rock there. There you go. Nice. Another one of those fine lines. Yeah. That day. Try it. Try it. Oh, I've missed this all up. That rear was so bound in that tree. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just set it right and just walk right over. So, I know on my 475 tires, I gotta hit it this with just enough speed. Just enough to get it to make it up there. Cause that right rear always wants to dip down. Like that. Yep. There you go. This is like the other one of the ones, just like the other one, looks way easier than it should be, but sometimes it's super easy and sometimes not at all. It's a break over. Plus, break over, plus just a trying big to angle get, top camera. Yeah, just trying to get up this way. You gotta fight two breaks at one time. That's yeah. hard. Nice quiet spot. That's the way you look. Yeah. There it goes. Very deceiving line. Three hours. 
to do one one and then break Drove an three, hour after you get there. Drove three hours to Freeze Ranch, got on the first obstacle. Yeah. Blew out the whole rear end, bouncing yeah. off a waterfall. Sucked. Got every morning, came all the way down 20 feet. No gas and everything <laughs> else. Three grand later. Yep. Just sucks the fun right out of it. And don't get me wrong, it's fun. But. 13 trucks, six of them broke ahead of me. Yeah. You gonna do it? Why not? That's yep. what I came for. <laughs> Yeah, we went to a spot last week and it was, the grass is so tall in between the rocks. It's wrapping up. It was wrapping up and if you like look, rest it on it, it'd be like a spring and like bounce you off. Yeah, it's that real stiff grass. Yeah. You can't really pull it up. Yep. <laughs> is that the lake? Uh, it was close to the lake. There's a warehouse over in Grapevine that uh, has just a whole bunch of huge sandstone boulders. Straight or driver? Uh, I would turn a little bit right because you're going into the tree. There you go. Yeah, I'm out by Lake Grapevine before, and I, I imagine that would be similar. Yeah, it, it's on Lake Grapevine. Yeah, it's similar terrain to what I've seen. It's like, oh man, but that is good. This one's kind of hard for straight axles. Yeah, I remember you saying it in your video. Not impossible, just kind of tricky. Narrow, huh? Yeah, well, not so much that, just like right where I'm at, see where I'm hung up at? Yeah. What's crazy is you'll see somebody out like a TRX4 Sport just walk right along this, you know. They got the advantage sometimes with that weight. It's like the TRX4 is a perfect axle for this obstacle right here. Like I said, that added weight just seems to plan it. <laughs> yeah, Oh yeah? Oh, the good. rocks are very similar traction wise as well. It's and they're so deceiving because in videos you know it looks like it's tons of traction. No, it's no. slick as shit. Slick. <laughs> Creek's about the same size. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you can't even see these rocks, the water's flowing so much. Right yeah, pretty much, man. Yep. If you go a little bit above me, I think I'll do it. Oh, there you can do that too. Same gonna go great. Yeah. <laughs> we'll move along pretty good when it's just two of us. <laughs> when there's like ten of us, you know, it'll take us several hours to get this far. Rear 
Mr. Sexy. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, it's cool, dude. This is my first truck with it, and I love it. I'm about to put it on that uh, sporky one I got. Got one little drainage in the parking called a shoot. It's got two little. So you want to stay as close to the uh, wall there as possible. Oh yeah, just that Yep, and it will spin you right out. Turn it out before the root. No, you want to get your left tire on top of that root. Okay. As best you can, anyhow. Yeah, there you go. Oh! Dude, diff is. <laughs> yep. yep. Oh, nice, dude. Very nice. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right there. Way steeper than it looks on camera. Out and yep. suck out the fireball bottle. Got a little thawing out at the end. Oh, come on. There it goes. Hey, you got the gray plastic in there, huh? Yeah. Did that notice Where? much difference? Uh, I haven't broke one. No? I, uh, uh, when I got it used, uh, Derek said he put them out because he broke two knuckles already. Yeah. I uh, I feel like I still have the stock knuckles on mine, but I have the brass C hubs. Yeah. The knuckles I feel real flexible. Actually, the the C hubs are the SSD C hubs. Oh, are they? That's why they're great. Well, you got up there pretty good, dude. Now, pretty much any which way you can, you want to work your way. Ah, too far. Gonna work your way left. Just trying to get to the pivot, but. Yeah. There you go, missed that diff. There you go.
again, what kind of axes are those? Diff hanging. Freaking <laughs> those trailing arms aren't doing you no favors neither. And it's off of that one. And off of that one. It's all that damn diff. Oh yeah. Big square pumpkin. Who thought that was a good idea? A center pumpkin at that. Oh, nice dude. Come right here. I, I went too far to the left and fell off into a mud hole. Turn left, there you go. Yeah, right? Yeah. Do you have a winch on that? Yeah, I got the little bungee one. Oh, okay. I was like, man, I didn't think there was one. the body. Then, yeah, yeah. That was like perfect. Coming up like that. Yeah, it had to start way further yeah. over there to get it. That was nice. Assuming you went this way. Nope. You went that way? Yep. I mean, you can't go that way. It <laughs> doesn't look like it's been run at all. I was like, oh. Let's see if I can't get this one on video. Doesn't look too bad. You're driving right over the trunk. Uh, yep. Just gotta stay to the left. Man, that truck just ruined the scale, <laughs> scaleness of it all. Can we do it again? <laughs> yep, just like that. The drop off. Is I'd like to take some like crushed up cars and like stuff in, <laughs> the, in that you know in the crack in the crack back there. Old die cast tend to kind of crush and not break. Like we have when we were kids, we yeah. them all up, now they just break. Hot metal. If they're even metal. <laughs> so we got an audience here. There used to be more of them, I don't know what happened.
You gotta stay to the left as much as you can. Yeah, I see the track up the wall. Yeah. Cool, just all flexed out. <laughs> yeah, I just brought it in too early. It's the first time. Like I said, that overdrive push it right around. Yeah. That's why I've been so hesitant on this one because it does pretty good without it, you know. The rear steering did, you really don't get it. Yeah. Right there, once you get your left front on that part, you kind of got to give it a little bit of beans. Let everything else just drop down. Yep. You got it. Thanks. And I understand what belt scratch is in a hard roll. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we were out at uh, Wolf Caves and I was in my buddy's He's a Dakota on tones and full okay. hydro, all that stuff. Yeah, I saw that video you had. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's tight in there. I, there's a couple times where it sucks when you don't have like full harnesses because sometimes you have to move around, you know. Uh-huh. And uh, we hit a bump, man. It knocked me. Oh, well, he had no grab handles or anything because it's Tom Brady. Yeah, well, his is pretty stock. Like, it just has a little bit of an exo cage. Yeah. I liked it. It was a good looking build. I mean, I yeah. you can see the evolution of it in the build just yeah. from watching that one video. Yeah, well, we hit a bump or something and it jarred me. Like, I just about ended up in his lap. <laughs> I was like, God damn. I just think it's such a beautiful place out there. Yeah, yeah I've really never good. been there before. I think it's much more family friendly. That's what the guy was saying. Oh, yeah. And the fence line had three halfway up the Oh, wow. Fence. Like, that's a lot of freaking water. Yeah. Go a little bit further to your right there. Now turn to your left, there you go. Yeah, that's pretty about no ropes. About what? Six. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, just I've seen a few when I first walked in by the creek, you know, and that's about it. We seldom see them, which is surprising because where we crawl, we yeah. Yep. Same. Water, water. Yep. <laughs> 